Hi all, in this video we're going to give you an overview of the GasMate WaterTech hot water system. Firstly, let's have a look at what's in the box. The hot water unit, a 1200mm hose and regulator, a quick connect gas fitting, silicon hose with pump, silicon hose with shower head, and the 12 volt DC power cord with cigarette plug. You also get a shower head bracket, some rubber seals and silicon tape. All you need to add is two D-cell batteries and a gas bottle. The unit has a carry and hanging handle, or you can also purchase the GasMate WaterTech stand as an optional extra. Start by inserting the two D-cell batteries. These are used to power the electronic ignition. Secondly, attach the quick connect gas fitting to the unit, ensuring you wrap the gas inlet with the provided silicon tape. Once this is secured using a shifter, you can then easily and quickly connect and disconnect the hose and regulator. Lastly, attach the water fittings to both the inlet and outlet pipes. Insert the rubber washers into the silicon hoses to ensure with the water pressure during use there are no leaks. And we can now proceed to place the unit on the stand, or you can also hang the unit using the carry and hanging handle. We can now connect all the gas, water hoses and power looms. The quick connect clips straight onto the gas line and the silicon hoses snap into place on the inlet and outlet water lines. Lastly, connect your 12 volt power and plug the cigarette plug into a 12 volt power source. Connect the hose and regulator to a gas bottle and leak test with soapy water before use. That's it for setup and now we're ready to go. Before we do, let's have a closer look at the dials on the unit. The unit has three dials to operate the system. Winter summer dial, you select winter or summer mode based on the source water temperature. Select winter mode for colder source water. The burner will operate at a higher rate. Select summer mode for warmer source water. The burner will not need to operate at the same rate as winter mode. The water flow rate from low to high. The slower the water runs through the unit, the hotter it will get. And the min max burner. This controls the burner in the unit, which in turn helps to control the temperature. Within the one dial, there is a max for both winter and summer settings. So to start your hot water system, simply do the following as outlined on the quick start guide on the unit. Turn the center knob to summer setting. Turn the gas control knob to minimum. Set the water flow knob to high. Turn the power switch under the unit on and push the open button on the shower head. Water will start to flow and you will hear the electronic ignition clicking to ignite the burner. Once lit, the LED display will show the water temperature as running through the unit. If you don't hear the electronic ignition clicking, check your batteries are inserted correctly or that they are not flat. If you ever have any issues, simply follow these steps again and your unit should operate correctly. Once running, you simply operate the unit from the shower head. When you push the button off, the water stops running and you'll notice the LED display goes blank. Once you engage the shower head, the unit will start up again and the LED display will show the water temperature. To adjust the water temperature, simply adjust the gas dial from minimum to maximum, remembering that there is both a winter and summer maximum. Adjusting the water flow will also change the temperature. The slower the water flows through the unit, the higher it will heat. You can also use winter mode to increase the temperature of the water from the same source water. Here we have a bucket of tap water and when we run the unit on summer mode with gas set to maximum and the water flow set to low, we get a consistent temperature of 37 degrees. When we run the same water with the unit in winter mode, the gas flow set to minimum and the water flow set to high, we reach a consistent temperature of 42 degrees. The unit is also fitted with a safety shutoff device if the water becomes too hot. This is set at 50 degrees. If the water temperature rises above 50 degrees, the burner will shut off. Water will continue to flow as the pump is still operating. If this occurs, simply turn the water flow off at the shower head. Wait a few seconds and then turn it back on. This will reignite the unit. If the unit is rising above 50 degrees consistently, Adjust the temperature control so that the unit will operate under 50 degrees. Lastly, the unit also has a flame failure safety device. Should the flame become extinguished, the unit will shut down. 
And there you have it, an easy way to have hot water on all your camping adventures anywhere the great outdoors takes you.